Syracuse led by one with just four minutes remaining in their second round NCAA tournament matchup with the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. But after SDSU finished the game on a 14-2 run, the Syracuse season comes to a close. They lose 75-64, and a team that fails to make it out of the first weekend for the third year in a row knows that they missed a huge opportunity. And then on the back end, we couldn't score. We couldn't make a shot. Shots weren't dropping. Players work hard. Our staff work hard. And when you fall short, it just doesn't feel good because you know how how hard you work. And it's just, you know, it's a tough loss. There's a lot to take away from it. I, I don't know, I can't pinpoint. They were 25 and nine. We had a fantastic season. I had some fantastic players. I have a fantastic staff, fantastic administration. The dome is the dome. When you say the dome, they're not asking where you're playing at. It's the dome, right? So at the end of the day, this is a fantastic place and I got a fantastic team and we just want to win and we want to get better and we're going to get better. Point guard Tiana Monakai, he has one year of eligibility left here at Syracuse, but with the professional ranks calling, she's unsure about her future here with the Orange. Syracuse finishes 25-9 and overall on the season this year. Reporting for the last time in the Carrier Dome, I'm A.J. Fabry, Citrus TV.